Hi, everybody. David Dilling on behalf of Mark Square here. Another exciting one, well, in any event, for Mark Square, for Adobe, I don't know. But I'll show you what I mean. We got on this bad file, and right away I knew it was a good sign because you see here we get like a, a preview. This preview is um, provided by Mark Square. Now, I do see the preview is not coming through 100% as it should, so the file is clearly affected. Uh, this file will open for the customer. As a matter of fact, if we try to open it in InDesign, which I'll drag and drop on InDesign 2021, we immediately get this. This damage cannot be recovered, error five, exactly what the customer got. This file we looked at for free. It's a very small file for a goodwill for a, a children's school. So, you know, uh, we didn't profit off of this at all, but I will share it with you because we get these in almost daily, bad files. So now we'll take the same file and we'll, we'll, we'll first launch it manually. We're going to drop it on ID Marks, which provides previews for InDesign files in the Mac OS, but also in the application by just dragging and dropping InDesign file like that. Now you see we get a, a, a preview of the file with some file information. We see that it's a CS6 file. Uh, we get the name. We see fonts used, colors used. Interesting, 11 colors, but only one used four stories, and zero images. Now, normally we're blaming bad files on the images. Well, not normally. A lot of times we blame it on the images, embedding them in the file, too many images, dragging and dropping them from the internet into an InDesign file. A corrupt image itself can cause an entire InDesign document to crash and burn. However, in this case, there are no images. It's a simple one-page little document. We see here in the thumbnails, there's only one page up here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to export the file as an ID mail. There's a host of options. We can even directly open it in InDesign or even Affinity Publisher. We're just going to export the ID email to show how it works. Everyone knows, or well, I shouldn't say everybody, a lot of people realize that if, if you're, oh yeah, I already, of course, fixed it for the customer. Do it again here. A lot of people know if you're having funny problems with InDesign files in InDesign, it's sometimes good to export as an ID email and open that up and then start again working on your file. That'll sort of scrub out a lot of bad stuff in your file. Okay, here's the uh, ID mail, and I'm going to drop it on InDesign. So we just saw this file did not open natively in InDesign, and look at that. It pops right open in InDesign. Now, it's a simple text document using the default Minon Pro. I don't know if that was what was used originally or not. However, this file was totally corrupt. You just saw it, and Marksware's ID marks, in this case via our file recovery service, fixed the file. If you're getting bad files in InDesign 2021, CS6, really doesn't matter. You have a good chance of fixing it through the Marksware DTP file recovery service. All details are here, including a lot of reviews. There's a bunch of reviews up on uh, Facebook and on the YouTubes. And it's just uh, quite simple to submit your file. And uh, we have a great success in fixing bad files. And I have an exciting one to share for Adobe Illustrator users where we fixed a handful of extremely complex .ai native files and recovered them right back into Adobe, uh, Adobe Illustrator in that case. In any event, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is a simple InDesign file that was corrupt, error code five, and Marksware could fix it. Cruising over to Marksware.com for more information. And as always, Make your time bleed, I come version tools of what you really need. It's a fast